OTAN, Outreach and Technical Assistance Network. Um, hello and welcome to everyone at home and um, here in the lab. Um, today, we're going to be looking at um, Buncee, which is a tool that we can use. It's a web-based tool. Um, and we're going to take a look at what it can do. And you are going to actually try to use this. So you're going to, um, I'm going to give you a username and password. And you're going to log in and create a Buncee board. Um, my name is Katrina Tamura. Um, I'm an ESL teacher from Miracosta College and Palomar College. I teach non-credit um, ESL. Um, I have a QR code on the screen there. You can um, scan that to get this presentation. I did create the presentation on Buncee so you could see what it looks like um, as an alternative to Google Slides. Okay, <laughs> let's see if I can go to the next. Okay. All right. So um, first I wanna find out who you are, uh, what you teach and where you teach. So if we can have our online participants, go ahead and type into chat. Um, and in the room, um, I'm Virginia Areola. Um, I do the high tech, at least high tech, and solar data also. Okay. And how about you? Hi, I'm Kunhe O from LA USD. I teach ESL. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. So far from online, we've got two people: Sherry Becker from Mount Diablo Adult Education. Oh gosh, they're coming in fast. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Ah. Okay. Let's start with Anita. Anita Patel, she's with M Milopetus Adult Ed ESL, hopefully I said that correctly. Um, please share presentation as a link, I will. Okay, and then let's go down. Let's see more here. Um, yeah, from Sherry, Sherry Becker from Mount Diablo Adult Education, CTE Dental Assisting. And Uzma, sorry you guys if I'm Massacre in your name mm -hmm. is but it was my She's an ESL teacher. Um, Francisca Pilar's Jennifer Jefferson adult. Okay, well, welcome. Uh, oh, one more story. Oh, go ahead. Go for it. Toy California College of ESL Communication. All right. Well, I'm glad to see everyone here. I know um, my colleague Christy Reyes is here also. I know her, so she doesn't need to introduce herself. <laughs> um, so um, uh, we're gonna take a look here. Let me see. I'm sorry, I'm new to the um, the whiteboard system here. Um, okay, so um, I want to know first, uh, what is your favorite integrated skills tech tool? What really works for you? Um, to combine um, different skills you want to help your students to learn and to produce. Um, what do you like to use? And um, those of you at home, please um, type it into chat for us. Um, how about over here? What, what kind of integrated skills tool do you use or um, do you use one yet? Yeah. Are we talking about any online tool? Any online tool. What's, what, what's, what works for you? I use Quizlet. Quizlet, yeah. okay. Sometimes Padlet. Padlet, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And what skills are you targeting when you use those? Uh, I guess Quizlet is just a practicing vocabulary. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Padlet going to be right, could be a writing skill. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very right, good. And how, how about you, Dee? I have it. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, oh, so it's new, you're looking new. for something new. Good, because this is going to be the best one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, online, we've got Ruth, and she uses Multimeter and Google Jamboard. Mm -hmm. uh, Cindy uses Jamboard, Padlet, and Kahoot. And um, Arsili uses Kahoot. Um, Eusebia, Edpuzzle, Kahoot, uh, Look, 
Okay. Is it yeah, it's B L O O K E T. I'm yeah, not that mm -hmm. Nice. And Zoom polls, Cindy mm -hmm. says. Um, are Sally interactive Google Slides? Oh my gosh, the chat's so active. Mm -hmm. Um oh, Bruce says, sorry, I meant Mentimeter. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Anelia says Quizlet and Vocab, Kahoot, Quiz is, uh, Francisca, Kahoot, Karen, Games to Learn English. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. Amazing. All right, lots of, lots of tools out there. Yeah. Uh, Christy, um, what do you use that limit it to just five instead of I'll just say Google things? Slides. Google Slides. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is just another one that you can use, um, and I want to, to take you through it and explain to you what it does, how you can use it, and how your students can use it because it's not a one-sided thing. Um, you can you can use it, but then your students can also get their hands on it mm -hmm. and and start using it to for their productive practice. Um, so let's see. Um, so uh, how many of you have ever used it? Have you touched Buncee before? First time you've heard of it online? Have you um, heard of it before? I think I heard of it before. You've heard of it before? Before, but I don't remember. Just, okay. Just big memory. Yeah. During, during the pandemic, it was really nice because they were giving out free accounts for teachers, mm -hmm. right? Um, so to help um, people with remote learning and um, and getting information and, and um, activities out to students. Um, mm -hmm. I have one more. Sherry's uses Zoom and Quizlet. Sherry, but also they're saying that they most of them have never used it, never heard of it. Mm -hmm. Heard about it, but not used it. So okay. that's the common thing. So All right. Okay. Does that mean it's not free anymore? Um, it is not free anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes they do have free trials. So you could look for that. Mm -hmm. um, I use it, I've, um, and it's been about $10 a month. Oh, right. yeah. Um, it's it's depends on how, how much you use it, right? If it's really worth it to you. I really like it because it um, because I use it so much, mm -hmm. right? Because my, my students enjoy it. Um, and so you really have to, um, to, tr to try it out and see if it's anything that would be useful for you, right? Mm -hmm. um, all right, so uh, what is Bunsi? It's a creation and communication tool for students, educators, and administrators to create interactive content allowing those of, um, of all ages to visualize concepts and communicate creatively. So I, I use this with my adult learners, but I also use it with my children, right? <laughs> so they um, giving them a chance to, to create um, if they have an assignment or something like that, and they want to um, a book report or, um, or so they just want to create and send out a, um, an interactive greeting card or something. Okay, um, so there's lots of ways we can use this. Um, so today we're going to discuss how Buncee boards can be used, and we'll learn about developing and sharing materials and course information using a Buncee board. Um, and we'll learn about how students can use Buncee. Um, and you can experience it by building and sharing a basic Buncee board. So that's our main goal is for you to actually create one yourself. Um, and then you'll try and um, try building a Buncee and share it with me. So I'll teach you how to do it, show you how to do it, and then you will try it yourself. Um, so there are multiple ways to use Buncee. Um, you can use it to deliver multimedia presentations with access to materials links like stickers, animations, shapes, drawings, 360 images, photos, documents, audio, video, QR codes, and hyperlinks. Okay, so you can you can put it all in there and then send them a link and they, they get all of their materials, right? It's all in one spot. Question. Um, yes. So does this all, all this, um features are already in Buncee. It's already in Buncee. Okay. That's what's really nice is because you don't have to go to uh, many multiple places. A lot of times you can get the images and videos and everything right there, right? Okay. Um, so um, I'm gonna show you um, some examples of that um, that are useful. Um, you can create a dynamic news board with real-time updates. So once you send the link, 
Um, you can uh, maybe you have a, a message board for your, for your students and they like to check it every day, right? They use the same link, click in, and the information may be updated, right? Um, this would this is nice for even uh, workplaces uh, um, amongst teachers, right? If you have news and updates, um, you just click it and it updates all the information um, for the homework assignments for, for today or something like that. Instead of sending an entire file um, and like a like a slide slideshow and they're going to um, save it into their Google account or something. This is you just click on it, you see the updated information, right? It doesn't have to be stored anywhere. They just need the link. Okay. Um, and you can assign multimedia reading um, response projects. That's one, one idea. Um, so they can, um, I'm going to show you an example of that. And it can be from very low levels to very high levels, depending on your student group and your needs. Um, they, where they can add images and videos. They can make videos of themselves talking about um, the, uh, the text that they read. Um, and you can manage student projects and promote engagement in Bunsi um, Classroom because um, Bunsi actually has a classroom you can build for your students. You can add them to a class um, and then they can share their slides with you, their Bunsies with you. And you can give them feedback. You can give them um, reactions, um, thumbs up, smiley face, hearts, right? Mm -hmm. um, so you can do that too. Um, and you can create entry and exit tickets with, with a Bunty board. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, also I wanted to, to note here, they have um, a, a little site, says it's called um, the Bunsey Ideas Lab. So you can visit that site for more, just Bunsey Idea Lab. And uh, um, people share their slides and their Bunsey so you can get an idea of how to use it. Um, so this works well for multiple class formats and student groups. Teachers have several ways to create learning opportunities and students have a variety of ways to interact with and respond to class materials. Um, it can be individualized and adaptive. It does have um, text to voice, um, an immersive reader option, images, uh, color, different colors, text sizes, fonts. Um, it has audio and video inserts. Mm -hmm. um, and um, this can be for blended learning, language learning, flipped learning, differentiated learning. Okay. Um, and let's see. Okay, so what can I do with it exactly? I'm going to show you one example. Um, I was working on describing people using adjectives, right? Uh, describe yourself, describe another person, right? Um, and this was for uh, um, beginning conversation ESL students, right? Um, and so this is one board I made, and I was uh, this could be easily uh, shared onto by by text, um, by email, um, but I posted it inside my Canvas course. Okay, so it can be um, embedded. I was just going to ask you if it was Canvas compatible. Yes, it's Canvas compatible. So you can embed the oh wow yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and so um, um, let's see. Let me show you the next page here. Sorry, so. Um, so what I did here, you know, I get, gave them the instructions, um, and then um, I created um, a person, right? Um, this person named Melanie, okay? Um, and Bunsy, they you can uh, type people into the search, and then they'll give you a lot of different kinds of people, right? Many, many different people. So I picked this lady, and I called her Melanie. Right, mm -hmm. I was we're working on the simple present tense, describing things with adjectives. So this is Melanie. She's thirty years old. She has long brown hair and dark brown eyes. Um, she is tall and skinny. She is friendly and enjoys being around other people. Now that's great. I can read it to them in class, but I also could um, embedded. This is Melanie. She is thirty years old. She. Has
and that's the reader. Um, and it's going to read the instructions. To play the audio, click the word listen below. This is Melanie. She is 30 years old. She has long brown hair and dark brown eyes. Okay, so my students, again, if they don't like that voice, it's too fast, whatever, they can make it a male. And they can make it really fast, or really slow. If they just, <laughs> it's going too fast for them, right? Eyes. She is tall and skinny. She is friendly and enjoys being around other people. Okay. Um, and then if I want to focus, if the students are just, just want to hear that word again, it's going too fast as a whole. So they want to listen to each individual word. Friendly. Okay. So it gives them a lot of support, right? And this just happens. Okay. You make the board. And this portion is there, right? Which is really nice, I think, um, to have access to uh, for both, you know, it saves me time and it also um, gives my students the opportunity to study um, in an immersive way. Um, Quick question, yeah. um, mm -hmm. when, with the friendly, those images came up, is that just automatic? That's automatic, mm -hmm. that's automatic. So. Um, I, I made, uh, like, here's Hilberto, right? <laughs> so they can uh, listen listen again to my voice. Um, they can go to the word goatee. Go it doesn't have an image. so Goatee. Right? Some of them have the images, right? Eyes. Okay. So these are ones that the, they might go back to and they want to hear it again. And, um, and uh, it was, I was able to make quite a diverse collection mm -hmm. of people to describe just by looking through buncy people, mm -hmm. right? Um, and I could make a little quiz here. This doesn't go anywhere. So th this isn't something where if, when they answer the questions, they'll be reported to you. This is purely for practice for them at home, right? If you want to do the evaluation, then maybe set up a different, um, you know, uh, Canvas quiz or something. Um, but this is for them to listen, right? They click the, the listening cue here. I study ESL. Uh -huh. I don't like the mean inside of it. Bring some, um, some people at home. <laughs> um, all right, and uh, let's see. You, there's more quizzes, so I just set up more quizzes for them at, at so they. All right, so let's take a look at another kind here. I'm going to need to exit this, I think. Oh. I'm using this really cool whiteboard in this room, um, and it, there's a little learning curve. <laughs> Okay, so the next one I want to show you is a little less um, less involved. It's uh, not me making something, but a student. Um, and I'm actually um, because I didn't have permission to share my students. I didn't ask anyone. I had my son do it. <laughs> this is my son's. I always. I don't like to share things if I, ha if I haven't asked permission. Um, so this is, um, you can uh, get to know people, right? They can create, uh, identify where they live on a map. Um, he took a picture. You can take a, a picture of yourself in, in Bansi and then he posted it where he lives. Um, he could also, instead of a picture, he could uh, create a video file. 
directly into to Bunsey and record himself talking about who he is, where he's from. Okay. Um, so that's another idea there. Um, it's hard to see. Okay. I have a question. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if they're recording their story and introduce yourself, mm -hmm. it's going to be one fancy slide with all the children. Having everybody in one one class is live. No, so this is it, this is not. Uh, we're so used to like uh, Google Slides where everybody is um, uh, going onto one. This is going to be individual. Um, so they're not. Everybody creates their own, um, but then they can share it to a common board. Um, so they could share their slide to um, to a board. Let's see where I zoom. Okay, sorry. There you go. Okay, again, we're at the front page here. All right. Um, so here's another one. Um, not that one, but um, here's a class project board. So after they create their boards, uh, what their whatever their re, uh, activity is then they can share it to a classroom board and then other students can read um, or interact with their board um, and then give them reactions. They can give them thumbs up, they can make comments on them. Um, so um, in, in this particular class, this, um, they were talking about their childhood. So they, they made a story about their childhood and then posted it. Um, to a common board. Okay. So, uh -huh. question. yes. Mm -hmm. Online audience. That's mm -hmm. really cool, by the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Karen asked, do students use the teacher's account? Um, yes. So, once the teacher creates an account, you can create a class and then you can um, share the code with, with others. May I ask uh, a question? How many seats? Do they um, have per class is there a limit? There is a limit um, per class. It's not, but I think it's overall users. I think it's probably something like a hundred. Okay. Um, I haven't come up with um, a, a big problem. You know, maybe um, using maybe twenty six accounts at a time. Gotcha. Um, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it, and and you can just delete it. Right. After. If they're not active. Right. Or something. They're not active. Or yeah. Something else. Um, you can, um, this is similar to the, uh, to classroom screen. Um, and this is where you can kind of post all of your activities on a board and then share it with them. So you could, um, if you want your students to open up Buncee and then access a board that you've created for them and then go or open their emails in the computer lab and then go to different activities that you have, um, waiting for them. So uh, this is another way. So um, and then you can rec record directly into your board and use a Buncee to send video message to, I uh, should say your students. <laughs> um, but I want to get you into Buncee right now so that you can really see. OK, so I want you to go to Buncee.com. OK, and your username is going to be 2023. And I have created a simple login, which is penguin starfish. Okay. Um, so you're going to go to buncee.com and then log in. Don't try to create a student account. You don't need to. You can just enter 2023 for your username and then use the simple login. Penguin starfish? Penguin starfish. Now, I really like this simple login, okay, <laughs> because you can um, you can create different usernames for each student, which is what you want to do. Today, mm -hmm. I'm doing the same one for everyone because I don't know everyone who's going to be here. So mm -hmm. if I click Starfish Penguin, it's going to be the same result. It has to be a certain order. Penguin Starfish or Starfish? Penguin Starfish. It has to be in that order. Yeah, it has to be in that order. Oh, okay. Yeah, but they don't have to remember it. They don't have to enter long emails or complicated codes or anything they can just use the visual to to access it because i noticed a lot of people who aren't used to this kind of stuff and it's really frustrating just opening the door right mm -hmm. so this is really really nice to use um 
So hopefully did, did our people at home in and able to, to get into Muncie? Give me a thumbs up maybe. Yes. Yes, yes. okay. Yep. Okay, good, yep. good. Yep, yep. Yay, okay. Not we're saying yes. Okay, so, so let me move this, see if I can move this. Okay, good, yes, there we go. Okay, so what you're gonna do is um, click on create a new Buncee, create a new Buncee. And um, you have you see that they have a lot, they do have templates, um, awards recognition, for example, if you're making like a certificate or something, um, back to school, birthday greetings, bookmarks, brochures, lots of different ways you can use this. They have different categories, but we're just gonna do start from scratch. Okay, so click on start from scratch. And one of the first things you might wanna do is change the background. So if you just click on change the background, right in the middle, you can pick lots of different scenes, right? If you don't like the background you changed uh, or you chose, you can um, click on change background and you can scroll through, oops, I keep touching it. Okay, so I use my keyboard. Mm -hmm. um, you can scroll through and they have lots of different, you can just use a color or you can use an image. I'm gonna use this beach scene. And then I'm gonna click uh, add to this page. If you click add to all pages, it'll continue the background scene for each one. Yes. Well, people are having some problem getting on. One says, she said, sorry, I'm not in, um, no confirmation email received. Oh, you don't need to set up an account. So don't try to set up a student account now. Okay. Just go to buncee.com and then enter the username 2023 and then use the simple login, Penguin Starfish. And the, the woman that said that, Anila, she just got it. Okay, great, then, great, great. And then there's one more question. That okay. Um, uh, uh, Lucidia said it is not opening for me when I click create Bumsy. So maybe she was trying to create an account too. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't go ahead and go on and on. Yeah. Okay. Like, All right. Okay. And then um, you can see on one side of your screen, on um, you have the pages, and then on the other side you have this plus sign, right? Plus is adding an item. So you can click on the add item and you get all of these different choices, right? You can add, you can upload something. You can create a QR code. So why don't you just create a car QR code? Just click on it and then look, oh, that was so easy. It's a QR code to your presentation, right? To your board. I mean, what could be easier, right? Um, and then you add, try another one, add. Let's try to add a Buncee animation. So you see the little bunny rabbit, you click on the bunny rabbit and you can look through and you can look for something specific or you can just pick something that they have there. I'm gonna use the sun because it's appropriate for my scene. Um, and you can see it has the little, um, it's moving, right? That's what Buncee animation is, is it's gonna be like a sticker that an animated sticker, okay? Um, you can click add again, okay? You can use Buncee 3D. Okay, there's lots of different things here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to add maybe fish. I'm going to look for fish. So I'm going to type fish in and enter. No, no, you found. Okay, let me see. How about ocean? Nothing. Hmm. Let me go close this one and open this. I'm going to click on animation again since they don't have the 3D I want. Um, so I'm going to try 
fish. And you have to enter. Um, and then you'll find the different sea creatures. I'll choose an octopus. Um, and once you select it, um, you should see a little blue uh, frame come around the item that you've selected. And then you can add it to your scene. Okay, uh -oh. my octopus is gonna be a little out of water, but it's okay. Um, and then we can add something else, try a Buncey message. See what a Buncey message does here. Um, I'm gonna click, that's awesome, or I love you, or you can search for a specific phrase. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, try another one, let's see. You can draw, add shapes, text, you can look for a YouTube channel. They have Khan Academy in here. So uh, they have videos from Khan Academy, Khan Academy Kids, uh, NASA, National Geographic Kids, TED, um, TED Ed, the Met. Well, let's see, TED Ed. You can. I have a question. Yes. Can I? Upload a YouTube, any YouTube video I have a link to here, or no, only the ones I see on the. No, you can you can um, upload. You can take a link and then do the um, use a upload a link um, feature there. So here I can I can I I typed in happiness um, because I want to find a video on happiness to add to my scene. All right. Of course, I'm gonna re. Uh, I'm gonna listen to these before I insert them, not just trust them. And I'll add it. And there you go. It's inside my board. Right. Um, that was easy. If I want to add a specific video from YouTube and I want to just use the link, then I can um, uh, import a URL. Um, I could uh, upload a video myself. I could record a video. All right. We could click on record. Um, and depending, I'm not sure if I'm going to allow it. Let's see. So of course, because I'm on this, this main board, it's not working well to add the, the video right now. Um, but for you, record yourself. Okay. Um, and so it is finally lo loading here. Um, but it's going to take a little long, so I'm going to not do that right now. Um, but you can record directly into it um, and leave a message. Um, you can take a photo. You can add emojis. Um, and so I want you to go ahead and just, just play with it for a minute. Um, you can add arrows. Crosshairs, sine wave, cosine, graph, signs. Explore it a little bit. And um, there's just lots of here to work with, but it does take a while to kind of explore it all because there is so much of it. Um, you can add text. So we're going to do that really quick so we can um, leave our names. So make sure um, to add your name. Um, so I'm going to click on text. And it does come with a lot of different um, text options, okay? Um, the text is down here. Um, it's down at the bottom of the, the screen. Um, you're gonna double click, add text. Okay, I have to do it on the computer. Do you ever have this where students start editing someone else's? No, because, oh, because you know why? We're all using the same account. That's why. Yeah, create your own, um, but you can add your name. So I'm going to add my um, my name, Katrina Tamara Nira Costa College, right? Um, so I'm just going to, for example, add some text. Okay, and then I want to change the font. 
Okay, so I just need to highlight the font or highlight the, the text. Um, <clears throat> okay, well, I for some reason I can't on this computer, but you, you can, um, there's lots of different fonts. You can choose um, April Fat Face, <laughs> I can't, Acne, um, all of these, there's tons of them um, that you can use. And your students will enjoy creating their own presentations and having the um, having this selection here. This is really a nice selection of creative fonts. Um, unless you're working on something and you, uh, of course, you want to choose the most accessible font. Um, but your students, if they're making a project about themselves, they might want to, to show a little personality and and pick a font that you know feels like themselves. Um, you can duplicate a page if you want to copy the page down at the bottom. You can duplicate it, so then there's two, right? If you want to add a page, you just click Add, and you can do a blank new page, or you can stitch in what a page. Mean? Stitching is if you have created multiple buncees, okay. and you want content from one buncee, right? But you don't want to have to recreate the whole thing. You can <clears throat> click add uh, the, the stitching, right? If I do add stitching, then I can find all of these other boards that I've made, right? And I can select um, pages from them to, okay, to add. a couple of questions. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sherry asked, um, where are the pages saved? The pages are saved inside your, this is a cloud account. So even though you can't work um, like people are not, if you, you have separate accounts, right? If each person has a different username, then it's not going to, um, then it will, each, each page will be saved in your student account, right? At the account, um, under your username, mm -hmm. which is under your teacher, right? So, um, I don't see your boards because you're going to have to share it with me, right? So it's, it's, um, this is mine. It's just automatically saved here, just like a Google slide or a Google doc, but other people aren't going to have access to it. Um, so you are going to want to add your name or a title as well. Um, and you can also see how it looks in order to um, really see what it looks like. You'll go to, um, oh, it's already published. So you can share it, click on the um, share button, okay? Um, and this is how you're gonna be able to share it with me, okay? Um, so I want you to um, take a look at the different options for sharing. We have, uh, you can just share it with a, a code. Um, you can embed it, right? So you could embed this into something like Canvas, but then you need to make sure you put it in an appropriate size, um, or you can um, add the link. You can share it with Buncee users. Um, so this is just other people outside of Buncee. This is within your class. Um, so I want you to click on that one from your class. And then you'll look for the sections. You are going to see OTAN DL, uh, TDLS 2023. So that's the class that I created for you, right? Um, and then you will select OTAN TDLS and you're going to share it. Okay, so then it's shared. Um, you can share it by email. You can share it to a board that your teacher has set up for you. You can share it uh, and as an email. You can um, request an RSVP to know that people have uh, seen it. Social media sites, Facebook, Twitter, um, Pinterest, Teams, LinkedIn. Um, you can download it. Um, so this is, you can use this feature to make a, um, like, um, banners for your Canvas courses. Um, they, you, they have a setting where you can put it to banner size and then you can create a banner um, and then just download it as a, as a ping file. Um, and then 
You could also kind of use those in uh, your Google slides if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, Anita asked, Anelia, I'm sorry. Um, she said, it lets, it, does it let you add only two animations per slide? Um, no, you can add as many as you want. Why don't you go ahead? I'm going to just give you a minute. You can try to add as many as you want if you want to try it a little bit more and then share it with me. And people um, in the chat are sharing theirs right okay. now. I, All right. I'm I think I would just click on it in the chat. Right? Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right. Perfect. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> okay. All right. So she answered her little uh, video there. Let me move the chat a little bit. Or not. <laughs> okay, so we, we added lots of uh, cool stuff on there. Um, let me make it minimize it for now. Um, an animation, an animated crab, the QR code, the moon. Okay. Um, and then let's see. Um, see anybody else here? I have a question. I think there's sure. a couple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So I think everybody who participating in this PD. Oh, we all log in with the 2023 and the code. Mm -hmm. So what does they mean? Are we in a class or some sort and everyone needs yeah. the same login? Yeah, I'll show you. Uh, I, um, I think I have a few more minutes. So okay. I, I'll show you how that happens. How we we'll create the class. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, oh, beautiful. <laughs> okay. And then, yeah, you can pick exactly. There's lunar eclipses picked in a you know, a vid whatever video you want. Um, Nelia yeah, said, thank you, thank you. <laughs> nice. Um, and then, see any others? There's three total. Okay, let's see. Hmm. I don't see it. I'm looking for one more there. Show me one more from Ruth. Um, that's further down. Is it further down? Yeah, there you go. Is it? No. Hmm. I, did, I just don't see it. <laughs> um, scroll down a little bit more. Okay. There you go. Um, oh, Ruth. Okay, there you go. I was having trouble scrolling on that. Yeah, yeah. It might be glitching a little bit. Okay. All right. Oh, cool. Yay. <laughs> Okay. Nice one, Ruth. Okay, beautiful. Um, so let's take a look at what I did so that you could create this board, right? What exactly made that possible? Um, I went into my teacher account. Of course, this one is, um, see, uh, the teacher account. So I have all of my abuncies I've ever created and never deleted. <laughs> okay. I have a ton of them and you should see my, my email accounts way worse. Right? <laughs> um, there's lots of them in there. Um, so I have um, my classes here and my boards, um, my abuncies. Boards are ones that um, are ones I, I made and people shared their items too, okay? Um, these are ones that students have shared with me, right? So they they chose to share it with their teacher. Um, so I have yours here, right? Okay. If you were able to... Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. Yeah. Um, so then I can open it. Um, I could copy it, right? And then put them together. Um, but that's how I get my, my, the classes boards, re, you know, they turn in their assignments essentially. Um, so the classes, right here, I have, you know, my, my one class in CSL and CESL 22, 19 students are logged in. Um, or have accounts, and this is our class code, right? When you're when they're creating an account, they don't want to. They're not going to be asked to pay for anything, right? Mm -hmm. Or they can just 
they don't really need to create an account because they already have one under me, mm -hmm. right? So what did I do to create that account? Oh, sorry, I don't want to show you all everybody's names. Um, let's see. Okay, let me go back to classes. That was the wrong one. Oh, mm -hmm. 10, DT, okay. So I just created one, okay, okay. one person. Mm -hmm. um, so I entered the first name and the last name, right? OTAN TDLS, and then I decided to give you a username, which was 2023, okay? Now I enabled simple login, right? If I disable simple login, right, then I have to put some sort of fancy thing in there, which is nice. We can do that. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe just to get it started, use the simple login, mm -hmm. right? So I can enable the simple login um, and I can change the password images. They have lots of different um, little symbols here you could use. Okay. Um, and then let's see. Um, I can add a student, right? Um, and I can also print this student out a card, okay? Um, if you notice here, I have one student selected and I, what, I, what my goal is, is to create a little card for them to carry around so they don't forget what their username and password is. So I can download this PDF. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to interrupt okay. you. Um, Araceli said, how do I share again with the teacher? And then Anelia said, first step, create class, correct? So the first yes. One. Yeah, first step is you create a class. Okay. Yeah, create a class. Yeah. And how do I share again with the teacher? Okay, um, so the, just really quick, this one is the, the PDF, right? And so you can cut it when you have multiple users, right? And you have multiple different usernames, it will have the whole page of them. So you don't have to keep coming back and mm -hmm. creating a new one, right? Um, and let's see. Oh, let's see. <laughs> <It's the controls. laughs> uh, let's see. Let's go this way. Maybe I can move this. Let's see where I am. Okay. Okay. So let's go back to the class roster dashboard. Okay, yes. Yeah, so um, again, you go into the classes there um, and uh, you can remove students there. You can search for students. You uh, Students can earn badges um, and that you can see how many Buncees there are. There's 10, 10 have been created on this account in the last few minutes, right? Um, all right, so let's go back to classes, uh, to Buncees. And let's share that board again. Okay, so to share it, you'll go up into in the corner and click share. And then you'll share with Buncee users. Okay, and you can they can change these too. Any with anyone with a link, a specific Buncee user, only me. Um, so anyone with a link, um, you can make it so that people can comment, make comments on it or you can turn that function off, right? It can be copyable, so other people can copy your, your Buncee slides, or you can turn, disable that, right? Um, so share with users from your class, and then you're going to look up uh, OTAN TDL, uh, TDLS 2023, um, and then share it. Okay, and then I'm going to um, get that into my teacher account. Okay. So thank you. Uh -huh, you're welcome. Um, all right. And if you see up here, I have some notifications, right? Sometimes you get little notifications, um, new Buncee uh, rewards for how many Buncees they're creating, that kind of thing. Um, and to, to actually create a new class, you just click on create a new class, you enter a new name, a class name, right? Um, new class. 
I'm horrible at typing on this keyboard, mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, subject, you can put a subject in CESL um, and we um, can put other or put the grade and then create. And there you go. So then my, my uh, class will be here um, and I just look for it and it's empty. So I need to add some students. Again, these are gonna be, um, you can add as many as you want as, you know, and if you run out of um, spaces, then delete your old classes. Mm -hmm. So you can add students, put the first and last name, right? And you can pick a, a, a username. Oh, it's already <laughs> taken. Oh man, how about, nice. Okay. Um, and then you can uh, add some sort of code like happy 12. Okay, and then you add this person. Okay, and you just keep adding. Okay, and, and then you could use one, you could set it so everybody's using the same password. So you don't have to create multiple passwords or um, you can, uh, no, you can enable the simple login. Mm -hmm. So click there, change, uh, edit, and then enable simple password, mm -hmm. flamingo alpaca. Oops. And then you save it. Okay. So that is how you create and share a Buncee. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you can, different classes will have different uses for it. Um, look into the videos that they have already there, the, the images. Of course, you can always upload your own images and your own videos. Um, it's not, you're not limited to um, what's in there. Um, and does anybody have any questions or? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. So here we everybody used the one username and password. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then so you can also create an individual one. Yes, you so want to do that. You want to to create one for each student. What is right? the reason? Why Why do you want to create yeah. one for each student? Yeah. Um. So that just like it's in, so they can't go into each other's assignments and change the content. Right? You want to know what that student is making, not what other people made, right? Mm -hmm. You want each student wants to track their progress. Remember how they have badges and buncy and submissions and all of that. Mm -hmm. You can give them, um, they can earn badges for the works the work that they're doing. Um, you can see the activity of each individual student. Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of hard if if I if I were to to look. If this were not, if this were a collection of work from um, many, many people, and I didn't know like which person created this, mm -hmm. right? It would be hard for me to grade or give feedback. I would have to, I'd be spending all day looking for everybody's work, mm -hmm. right? Um, so it is a definitely don't, don't just create one, there's no need to, it doesn't cost you any extra. Um, once you have the teacher account, um, you can, you can import their names, um, but it's highly recommended that you create a different one. On a, on a, uh -huh. yeah. Is this a phone friendly? Uh, this is very phone friendly. Okay, yes. So I can have students we work on this one on their phones. Yes. Uh, you can download the app. Um, and uh, I often make Buncees on my phone um, because then I can use my 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 phone's uh, video camera and everything or audio. I can rec record audio files on my phone. For some reason, it's kind of better, easier for me to sit on my couch and do it and always be tethered to my computer. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So I can I can do that. I, I think uh, students enjoy that too, being able to move around. So they just download Buncee to their to their phone okay. and they log in with the username and password that I give them. you give them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They they do not create their own accounts. So they shouldn't be paying for anything. Okay. Um, it's just the, the teacher's account and then you're you're sharing mm -hmm. um, the access. 
There's a few questions online. Okay. Do you guys have any? Do you have any, do you have any more? Okay, so um, the first one is how do you upload into Canvas? Okay, so um, you're going to create the link if you go to your Bunsy. Um, and for we're going to uh, open it here and go to the sharing. And if you if you know how to use Canvas, uh, if you're familiar with adding and embedding things in Canvas, right? All you need is the code, right? You can choose the link or the code, the embed code. Okay, so you can. Um, it's nice sometimes in Canvas you have the um, add a URL. You can add a page or you can add a URL, right? You can just add it, add the URL, or you can create a page and then embed your Buncee. Um, I like adding a link so that they can get full access to it because sometimes you know it's kind of boxed in in Canvas. It's accessible; you can get to it, um, but it's nice to have it, just see it on the um, uh, on the browser instead. Mm -hmm. Um, so you just copy the embed code and then go to Canvas and then embed or copy and carry it over as a link. Um, and let's see if you have more questions. Okay, sure. Um, Karen said the one she was working on disappeared. I don't, I don't know. And that's one of the problems that could be because we, we have multiple users on there. So somebody might have accidentally deleted your Buncee. Um, so that's also why we want to create separate accounts. Then we're not accidentally deleting each other's work. Oh, and then Sherry, um, Sherry said, can you upload students from ASAP or an Excel file? And then she said, I see you can do the CDS file. That's not mm -hmm. sorry. Yeah. So you can, file. yeah. So you have to use the, the file type that they that they ask okay. for. Mm -hmm. um, but so you can do that. Mm -hmm. One more. Right, sure. She asked if the teacher account is free, but was it? It's ten dollars a month. Um. Uh. Last I checked, it was about ten dollars. Yeah. I just okay. Know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So look into it. They may have trials on there. I haven't looked recently to see if there's a, a trial version because during the the pandemic they had it. They did have free access for teachers. They had free accounts. Um, I don't know if they're doing that right now, right? Everybody's kind of pulling back on their free stuff. They did right? love that it was like $7 or, or $10. Or yes, it's something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Karen said that when she added the title, then someone else's name showed up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, you can explain that. That's that's kind of one of the things that um, what's nice about Buncee as opposed to the the Google Slides. Yeah. We are really used to the the Google Slides um, and the ease of of doing group projects with that. But then, if if we are new users to this kind of technology, right, it might be nice to start <laughs> with our own accounts. Yeah. <laughs> Um, without having to create, uh, you know, a, a Gmail account, right? With the teacher just gives me an account and they give me a username, they give me a password, and now I can experience this and try mm -hmm. using all these different things that everybody else is using, the hyperlinks and, mm -hmm. you know, QR codes and all this stuff that people are using. Um, I don't know how to do it. Guess what? In Buncee, you can do it pretty easily, right? It's, it's um, you can... It really does take the, the mystery out of it until your, your skills are stronger, All right? Um, so, quick question, uh -huh. Katrina, can you, like, let's say you wanted students to do some sort of presentation and you wanted the content to be the same, could you make a template and share it to them? You could, uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so sharing and cap uh, capability, um, it's web-based, it can be accessed on any um, device, it can be used on a Chromebook, tablet, desktop, um, iOS can be shared online or downloaded for offline viewing. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and you can use it on all these different um, platforms. And I, I attached the, these are files, PDF files, links. Okay, so you can click on those links um, and take a look at it. Um, this is what it looks like when they open up their email and you, uh, you've shared in uh, Buncee by email. It's kind of cool, right? It is cool. Yeah. Um, and then if you want to send it by email, you just go back into those share settings and um, you uh, 
it's within here in the share settings. Anyone with a with anyone with a link can see it. Um, and then on your cell phone, there you can find the share button at the at the top. We're very used to this, right? Um, and you can share it by text message, email, Google Docs, or, uh, whatever you have on your phone, right? Um, and then you click send. Um, so this again is just reviewing what we talked about with sharing within a Buncee classroom. So you can look back at that. Um, I know time is is over, so you can just look back at these uh, at this file, and it's going to go over some of the ideas and suggestions and uh, ways we share things. Okay, so it's all there. If I didn't, mm -hmm. if you didn't get to get your your question answered, um, try looking in in the slides. And you're welcome to email me. Um, I have two email addresses. You can pick one um, and I'll get back to you. Okay. Thank you for joining me today. And if you do have questions, let me know. Okay.